Hey everyone, lovely to see you all. Hello Katrina, Kim, hello Shannon Darling, hello Naya, Natalie, Michelle, Pamela, Susie, Katrina. Let me just turn the, um, oh gosh, let me turn the autofocus off because that's making us pulsate, darlings. We don't want to be pulsating this time of day on a Sunday, do we? <laughs> Can everybody hear me okay? Hello, Jennifer. Hi, Joy and Yvonne. And Natalie. Hello, Melody. Lovely to have you. I have sent you a message, Melody, uh, in respect of uh, what we discussed. So hopefully um, you'll be able to get that. I hope you're better. Oh, that's nice, Jennifer. Um, my last stream finished uh, really oddly, and and I was um, I was about five seconds behind uh, what was playing on the screen, and I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> Mod salute, Kim T. <laughs> you know me. Um, so I didn't I didn't really know what had happened because, um, like I said, the, the 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 view I was looking at, or the uh, the in in picture picture, if you like. That was uh, about five seconds behind what I was doing. It was very confusing, but I hope that doesn't reoccur. But we have had a, quite a lot of um, problems with YouTube in the last three or four weeks. I know many streamers have been complaining. Hello, Mona. Lovely, lovely, of, you, lovely of you to come. Hopefully everybody's okay. Um, today, guys... Um, I'm only going to show a couple of books. Uh, I received a couple of messages after my last stream. Uh, apparently, there was uh, <clears throat> there was a few people complaining that I um, I take too long to start colouring on the channel. But of course, uh, the last particular stream uh, was a donation uh, stream, and um, you know I had about twelve books to show that are all going to be giveaways. Uh, so it is time consuming. You can't skip over those kind of things. And um, I didn't really want to uh, make sure, uh, I did, sorry, I didn't want to, uh, you know, make it where the uh, the donator looked at the video and I just sort of scantily uh, covered them. Um, so if I have uh, upset anybody about uh, taking too long to do any colouring on the channel, I do apologise. Um, I know it's nobody here that's in the chat at the moment, but... Um, uh, I like to go through things thoroughly, and, the, and of course, that's the kind of thing that I do on this channel anyway. Um, so, the, hi, Sam. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yeah, I'm doing that, uh, Shannon. Thank you. Hello, Randy. It's a good job you didn't come in a couple of minutes ago, Randy, while we were pulsating. <laughs> there could have been all sorts of uh, comments made. Uh, hello, Ashley. Lovely of you to come come in, Cheshire Cat. Yeah, I I, I do try, Nana, but like I say, I, I was alerted to the uh, to the problem, um, saying that I take too long to colour and um, this, that, and the other. But uh, and that I was showing loads of books that had been bought, um, but of course I didn't buy any of those books. Um, I was given them by uh, an anonymous person. Uh, who was very kind and wanted to uh, wanted to share them out with everybody else. So uh, I gave two away, guys, uh, which you're probably all aware. Pamela's in the stream. She won one of them. Uh, I've actually sent that off, Pamela. Um, so hopefully you will get that soon. I haven't sent it mega expensive postage. 
uh, but it's obviously from the UK to the US. So when it gets there, it gets there. Um, uh, I, I, it's just I just wanted to make people aware of it. That's all, Sam. Um, because you know, um, I, I I didn't have a, a massive time slot anyway. Um, you know, and uh, I, I I wanted to make sure that I did things properly and. I don't like being rushed and things like that. So uh, I have actually changed um, my streaming time, guys, from Friday night at uh, 9 p.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time, GMT. Um, that's because of uh, various issues. So now I'm going to be doing Sundays, uh, and I am caught between um, a Naya, um, a May, a Christine and a um, Shaleen sandwich. I mean, what what more could a guy ask for? <laughs> you know, I'm sandwiched in between those three lovely ladders. <laughs> oh, hello, Janice, my darling. How are you? No, I, I can't, Randy. And 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 you know, um, that that last video. Um, I got a lot of negative feedback from it, and you wouldn't think I was giving stuff away. Uh, but anyway, that's beside the by. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a mega sani, isn't it, Nana? You know, with all those uh, all those women and just me. Um, today, guys, I, I'm going to be uh, colouring. Yay, colouring. I'm going to be colouring in uh, Christine Aldridge's book. Uh, which is called um, the Fantasy Flower Garden. That's the one I've got here. Uh, I am going to do um, – okay, yeah, thanks, Naya. Um, I just wanted to address it so that it's out in the open, and then if anybody is in another stream and they hear people complain about me not, um, you know, uh, not properly uh, colouring or starting or buying too many books or whatever, then you have the answers, guys, you know, and you can speak up for me if I'm not there. That's the only reason why I wanted to uh, – Wanted to address it. Um, so, um, first of all, I'm going to be uh, colouring in this Fantasy Flower Garden book. Um, in my description, I have left a link for Christine's book. Um, I'm going to show you a book called Snow White by Charles Santor. Um, my new purchase, I'm really excited about this guy, uh, this artist, guys. It, the book is called Full Metal. And it's by a chap called Chris Panettiere, um, who whose art is is very distinct, um, and it's one of those that I get excited about. I haven't been as excited about a book uh, since uh, the Ink House, so I'm really excited to show you this book, guys. It's um, and we'll get onto that very briefly. I also want to show you um, Coleridge Wild Three. There are many flip foods of this, but it's 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 not being done uh, in my kind of style. Uh, so I like to do my own flippity flap, flippity flaps, um, to ensure uh, that people uh, can see the book, see the link, and know what they're getting. And then finally, I want to just briefly show you this book that I've purchased, and I know it sounds uh, very premature. Um, hello, Kimberley. That's lovely of you to join. Um, this book, this nice little town Easter, guys, I am doing a collaboration with John uh, from the Bibliophile Colorist. And I, I was speaking to him last week, and I believe that he's now got a copy of it. So I just wanted to briefly go over what we're going to be doing. Um, and I'm going to... Um, I'm going to also go over the uh, the stuff that I'm doing with May for Valentine's. Um, and then before you know it, guys, I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be colouring, <laughs> and uh, we can take you from there. Okay. So first of all, then we'll just do the uh, the brief flip throughs of the books. Um, there are a few people uh, going to be coming in, um, especially May and Christine. I don't think they're here at the moment, but I have got Naya um, as a mod. Thank you, Noel. That's really kind of you to say. Um, I, I do try. I do try that. It's. I think a lot of uh, running a channel uh, and putting broadcasts out is 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 the ability to uh, 
to show your personality. Uh, I, I think it's very easy to. Uh, I think it's very easy to see the ones who are uh, transparent and the ones who aren't. And, um, you know, uh, uh, as from now on in, uh, I've moved shift, uh, shift. I've moved uh, my streaming times because of it. And uh, hopefully um, we will now be able to just uh, concentrate and um, just get on with anything, you know, that we, uh, that we choose to do today. Uh, oh, thank you, Kim. Kim's back as a mod as well. So I've got plenty. I don't know if um, uh, Morticia has managed to see the change of schedule. Um, obviously, that's 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 down to her. Um, you know, she may not be. I'm not sure if Morticia's actually on Instagram or not. I did put it on there. And um, so hopefully I think that, that she, she, well, she'll know by next week anyway. But uh, I've got enough mods as as uh, as we do. Uh, have we uh, zapped a troll near? Near? Near, far, wherever you are. <laughs> the Titanic. Oh, Mace here now. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, thank you, Naya. Yeah. Yeah, just keep watching out. Hello, Passionista Colorista. That's a tongue full. I, I am. I'm serenading you. I, well, I'm serenading the cats at the moment because I can hear them all outside now. <laughs> Whining. Hello, Sammy. Oh, we've got plenty of mods now. Okay, then, guys. Uh, just before we kick off, um, I got... I have mentioned it a couple of times. I've not been... Um, I've not been able to sort of um, mention it because I, I keep forgetting to bring it from downstairs, because I've put this in my, I have like a, a tin box that's got all my, uh, you know, personal stuff in that I've liked to keep and things like that. So this is just a, a little thing that I got from Dee Dee. Um, and it just basically, it's got a little note here, and it just says, Dev, thanks for supporting uh, my channel. Uh, I just made a donation to the channel. And... Um, for enabling me with all the great books. And I thought that was a really, really nice gesture. Um, yes, okay, mate. Uh, do you want me to do it or are you going to do it? Did I not? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Um, okay, I'll, I'll go back and edit that out, uh, Melody. Thanks for letting me know, love. Uh, I do apologise. So yeah, she she um she's wrote she's gone out of her way. She's a very busy lady, as we all know, and uh, she just said, "Dev, thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for enabling me with uh, all the great books," which was nice of her to say. And uh, she sent me uh, some personal artwork, which I think was absolutely lovely of her to do that. Uh, the first thing she sent me was this beautiful, beautiful fish uh, that she's done, and I think that's superb. Hello, be bright. Nice of you to join us. Uh, I also got this little um, this little image here that she's done, which is uh, a rat and a cat, or a cat and a mouse. There were some spiders in the background and that kind of thing. So that was lovely. Then got a um, a postcard with uh, an owl on it that you can colour yourself, which I thought was lovely. And now comes the serious stuff, guys. Uh, she knows I like Prince, and how good is that, please? Um, this this portrait of Prince, um, it's done, and she's put like an effervescent uh, purple glow around, uh, almost like what we have in the UK. We had a, a Ready Break advert when we were younger, which kind of showed you once you ate it you had this kind of red glow around you. And it's almost similar to that. It reminds me of that. But, of course, uh, Prince's is purple, being that that's his colour. And uh, I was sort of bowled over, really, with this one. I've had to take this back out of a frame. I've got a frame for it. Um, and I managed to see uh, it was only in a, a, a bric-a-brac shop. It was a purple, purple frame that's kind of, it's in a wave shape. So there's no, there's no thin uh, straight edges to it. It's got a kink in it, and I think it just looks really nice sat in there. So I wanted to show you that. 
Uh, and then, of course, being a huge Beatles fan, uh, she sent me this coloured uh, piece that she did out of Yellow Submarine book. And, um, I mean, she really is talented, isn't she, Randy? Yeah. Um, and it, it, it's, it's really personal to me. I think it's a really nice gesture to do. You know, like I said, she's incredibly busy, no doubt. And um, that's the Yellow Submarine in the Crayola book. And, of course, done by Dee Dee William. And then for the final bit she sent me was a piece of art, this Chinese art, or Japanese maybe. Uh, and I think, again, that's wonderful. It's got like a galaxy background. Uh, there's the girl in the kimono or the robe uh, with this um, windmill uh, that you used to have as kids that blow in the wind uh, once the wind catches it. And uh, the colouring on here is spectacular. Again, another great piece. Um to look at so i wanted to uh, make time and make sure that those were shown on the channel and just in case you are an alien from mars or a you know a martian from mercury or something like that i have left a link to dd's Dee channel in the description uh that, that will show you her working on those pieces and um just out of respect really for what she's done okay so First of all, we're going to get through onto um, the Coloriage Wild 3. Uh, most people have seen it. Um, I just wanted to do a little flip through over it uh, my, my way. Um, I do like this book. I was very impressed with the first one. I've not, I, I've not even actually uh, been able to get the second one. Strangely enough, I don't know why, this one and the first one have been on Amazon UK, but the, the second one I've not seen on there. So for, for reasons unbeknown to myself, I've only been able to get the one on three. Okay. It's a very personable book. It's uh, one-sided. It's on excellent paper, which is uh, absolutely brilliant quality. They are perforated, um, and the images are stunning, as you can see. Oh, is, I think there is some. I've... I was told about one once on, on my stream. Oh, is it coming back on 21st of Feb? Near. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. Because uh, obviously I want that one to uh, to make up the full set. That's, that's brilliant. Thanks for letting me know. Um, yeah, th this, this book um, is obviously uh, of good quality. And um, the images in here are beautiful. Um, you can use probably anything on here. Uh, May would probably be able to tell you better. I don't know if she's got any of these books, but I would imagine that they will uh, consume water quite easily. Um, but the portraits uh, are really, really cool, uh, clever, the big eyes. Um, there's a lot of stuff that are added to the portrait that you can you can use your blending techniques with. I mean, this hairstyle, for instance, is kind of what they call a low fade. If you're an hairdresser, you'll know what I'm on about. So you, you've even got a blended uh, picture of hair uh, that's actually blended in the cut, which naturally would be uh, would be coloured blended as well. And then, of course, you've got the uh, the bird in the nest, which can be any colour you want. Um, and I just found that interesting that they uh, decided to do that with that particular image. Um, You've got this one with the small field mouse on top of her head. Uh, it is so lovely. Um, sorry, guys, I'm just trying to not bend the corners. Um, and then you've got another one here with the bird um, and then the flowers. You've got this one with the, the owl, which is kind of hidden under her hair, which is pretty cute. I'm sure you'll all agree with that, that it's kind of a, um, you know, a hide and seek kind of thing. Um I have left links for all the products and books uh, that have been used today in the description. Uh, Christine told me how to do it, um, so I was fortunate enough to be able to get them done in preparation for when the stream starts now, so you don't have to wait till the end of the stream for me to put them on. Um, this is one with some bumblebees on it, uh, and again, I think that's an orchid. I'm not 100% sure, um, but the, the beautiful images... And like I say, um, because they are a perfect square, uh, I think that they, more so than the other images, make uh, a very good personable gift 
if you were to give somebody one of these colored in a frame it would look you know really really good uh just just because of the fact that it's square as well um and of course you've got the sunflowers here um and another image Let's, sorry it's very new is this book so it's kind of not stuck together but it's and this one here we've got a huge mohican with this uh boy or girl i'm not sure which one which one it is but of course you've got the uh, iguana or the lizard uh, on the head and some leaves so that's a uh, quite an original one hello beth I, I think so shannon um i, I would imagine they are uh, i can't see any reason why not uh, you've got this one with the um it looks like a pigeon i'm not 100 percent sure but again you've got the wavy curly hair and you've got almost this uh halo type of uh um headband on which has got leaves on it you know a bit like the uh, the the julius caesar thing i've forgotten the name it's just escapes me for the minute and then of course you've got the big open roses uh i don't know what these are but big afro again and then of course the images i think now repeat if i'm not under yes they do so i just want to quickly show you that guys because I, I think the book is um really really cool in so much that um you'd probably be able to use anything on it okay susie not a problem uh, the illustrator grace of these is emmanuel colin um i'll type it in for you Manuel Colin. <clears throat> so yeah, really, really happy about that book. Um and now here's the one guys that I, I like I said earlier in the in the description, uh, sorry, in the intro, uh, I've not been as excited about a book. Uh, since uh, the ink house since this one and i can't take full credence for this um i have a subscriber that uh, doesn't want to be uh, named in any shape or form um but she um kind of does me some i don't know you would call her a cyber secretary or something like that she does a lot of stuff for me and organizes things and various other stuff uh and i think the world of it oh thank you sam i'll uh, i'll check that back later she alerted me to this book <clears throat> and when i saw it uh, i was immediately obviously drawn the only downside to this book is uh the create space paper but i'm sure that when you look at the artwork you know it's just a minor hiccup in in the whole in the whole process really when you look at the whole thing so it's called uh, Full Metal, and it's by um, Chris Panettiere. Um, and Chris Panettiere um, is a well-known artist for actually designing um, album covers for rock bands and also uh, tattoos. So you kind of get the feel straight away before the book starts, you know, before we look at the book, that. Um, uh you, you 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 know you know what sort of artwork you're getting but then even then i was still shocked at how good um how good it, it really really is oh you've made a live stream louise that's excellent have you done that today how do you respond directly to someone here uh what do you mean coloring with d No, I'm not allowed to say who it is, unfortunately. I'd, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd. Um, how do I respond to somebody on here? You can uh, you can subscribe to their channel, Colouring with D. Uh, I can't think of anything else unless you know them personally. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, to the book. So you open the book up, 
and um, this is the intro, intro page. It's a kind of skull with hair, uh, and then you've got your flowers and that kind of thing. The images are single-sided. Uh, the first image you come to is this uh, this lady here uh, riding a deer. Ah, oh, thanks, Sammy. Yeah, yeah. So you've got this uh, long hair. You've got this uh, stag. Uh, there's an owl in the background. You've got all these kind of um, skulls with eyeballs in down here. And then you've got all the foliage and stuff to colour. Absolutely superb image. Beautiful. Let's, uh... Yeah, thanks, Sam. Um, I, I'll go back and uh, have a look after the stream. I'll get it ordered. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. <clears throat> then you've got this kind of stag or, or moose uh, or gnu, whatever, whichever way you want to call it in this kind of swirly wind and um, you've got the the flowers and stuff around it. Uh, I love this image, it's three faces with a skull and then you've got the poisoned apple here um, and then you've got these kind of horns and well you could make that into you know dark leaves, bright leaves or kind of uh, interpret it which way, whichever way you want. They look to me like they could be uh, a bit like ram's horns, that kind of thing. They look that texture to them. Let's uh, just catch up with chat a minute. Dev's in trouble. Why am I in trouble? <laughs> Hello, CB. Yeah, thanks, Cheshire. That would be uh, appreciated if you could whack us some thumbs up, guys. It gets it noticed. And then you've got this image of this kind of uh, angelic woman here in all this, what I would call like, it almost gives you a sense of it being ethereal. Uh, it's very sort of uh, atmospheric when you look at it. Um, and again, the, the color scheme would be down to down to you. And um, uh, what's, what's, is there anything I can help you with? Robin loves reading. That's good because I don't see it. What is it you're looking for, uh, Colouring with D? Anything I can help you with? Hello, Connie. Nice of you to join. Hello, everyone. There's 70 in now. <laughs> Funny, mate. You do make me laugh. Yeah, Beth, it could be wings, couldn't it? I mean, there are some feathers here, but the the kind of going downwards, uh, actually, I think you're right, because you've got this, let me just bring that down a bit, you've got this arched kind of uh, top to the wing there. But like I say, very, very um, atmospheric when you look at it. You know, you could you could do this in anything, really. Um but I really, really like it. And then you've got this this woman and baby. Um, you'll have to excuse the uh, the nip nip on the bazookas, guys. Uh, I didn't do the uh, <laughs> the illustration. So, Dev, do you want me to explain grayscale? Okay. Uh, well, grayscale is um, is the line art. Um, that has uh, it's been kind of left with shading on it. And what I mean by that is, is that as you can see here, like under the chin, there is some pixelation in the artwork uh, that shows that under that chin, it's slightly darker. So, of course, when you're trying to portray your colours on that image, you know uh, by the grayscale that that particular part of it is, is darker than the rest. And what I tend to do is, I mean, people do it differently. Um, let me just, um, so for instance, you, you may have three, three levels of grayscale. So you might have a dark area like that going into a slightly lighter next to it. 
and then to an incredibly pale i've not really managed to transpose that as well as i wanted but let's just suppose you've got one two three here you've got the make that a bit darker it help and then you've got the medium and then you've got the light so for instance if that if those three shades were on the same item or same actual uh flower for instance and you chose to do that flower in let's say pink lower my pad okay let's say you chose to do that flower in pink you would know that you would need three different grades of pink gradations of pink or you could use two and one with a couple of layers on it so it's basically uh, an indication to where the dark areas are in an image and that's pretty much sums up what grayscale is so if we if we sort of transport what we've just said there into this hairstyle here you remember me saying that it had three different levels of darkness so if you were doing this girl's hair brown for instance this really dark bit at the end of the tip would be dark brown the mid-tone just above it would be a lighter shade of brown and then of course the highlights uh, are, are denoted by the by the white parts so that enables you to either i mean you don't have to have the same color of course um oh that's brilliant coloring with d that's not a problem um you're more than welcome everybody here will uh, will no doubt make you feel welcome and um i'm just explaining the grayscale stuff to you now so <clears throat> You could, uh, uh, for instance, uh, Sammy who's in the chat, she's one of my mods. May who's in the chat, she's also one of my mods. And 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 Nia, uh, they do hair uh, quite a lot or quite regular. Uh, and this this girl might have two colours, uh, but of course you would know which bits were dark and which 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 bits were light, uh, down to the grey scale. So the, the the lighter the grey, the paler the shade. The darker the grey, the darker the shade. And I think in a, I hope I've explained that okay, but in, in summary, I think that's the best way to, uh, you know, to sum it up. Um, I'm not sure what three colours of brown you would use here or whether we, or whether you would use pink on here, but there you go. This baby on the image has got horns. Um, again, very unique art style. Um and we hadn't even got really into the book yet. There's, there's, there's some really, really uh, lovely images. And, um, you know, I can't stress it enough. This book is absolutely awesome. So you've got um, this woman again uh, who was thankfully clothed this time. you got all this atmospheric stuff again, which kind of like denotes that she's either in 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 the mist or whatever and there's a couple of uh tigers uh keeping her company there's also a large gun here which would uh which would allow you to use your metallic uh blends on that um and then we move through you've got the the skull here uh, and then you've got another lady with a necklace of bones um it's probably kept them from her husband's fingers that she's cut off. <laughs> uh, you've got this very weird and wonderful. Uh, this this reminds me of a tattoo actually. So you can actually see uh, why he was a tattooist. Um, it does have male and female um, symbols here, so I'm guessing it is a tattoo just by that alone. And you've got the big skull uh, with the chains in the background here. The skull is open uh, and there is an eyeball on a, on a large cord coming out of the skull and reversing and looking back at himself, which is quite spooky. You've got the ram in a suit here uh, with, the, uh, with the cool fingers, just telling you everything's a-okay. And that he's uh, that's how he rolls. And then we've got uh, this bird's nest here. With I'm not really sure what uh, species of bird that is. 
uh, but you've got them with all the feathers and the plumage that you can do in different shades. You've got the trees. And then, of course, you've got the woman who is almost an angel. Uh, she's sort of intertwined in the branches here uh, with all the hair hanging down. I think that's wonderful. You can just see how imaginative the, uh, the artist actually is when you look at it. And you've got this woman here. So there's quite a lot of portraits in here as well. This is one of my favorite. <laughs> this is one of my favorite images in the book. Uh, this girl here riding, uh, she's got four horns on her head. Uh, this, I'm not sure what this is actually. It looks some sort of creature anyway. Uh, that's got some really sharp teeth with a, a large tongue coming out. And then, of course, she's got a, a big array of feathers uh, behind her. And then you've got the, these look a bit like dandelions or thistles. Um, so it's, it, the book is absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's a woman here uh, with a fantasy background that's just obviously uh, in a made up place, but the imagination that uh, has been put into this is incredible. Um, really, really nice. This one is a is an absolute belter. Uh, you've got I, I don't know the indication of all this, but you've got like the raven or the crow in the top left hand corner here, then a skull, and then you've got the ones opposite in the other corners, which kind of tells you that you're on to a, a kind of dark picture to start with. Um, but in the centre, you've got the I don't know if you can quite make these girls out with no eyes. They've just got eyeballs. Um, and with two, uh, I think the bear heads coming out of one center one here, they look like grizzly bears, but they've the faces have been distorted by the artist to, to, to look half skinned and half boned. Uh, and I was really shocked when I saw it because I thought, my gosh, you know, what, what an imagination and what, what, what a nice person, um, this guy is to be able to come up with tattoos such as this or illustrations such as this to be able to put into books. I thought it was magnificent. Um, and then it says here, this page has been left intentionally blank to allow a full page spread that follows. So of course they've even got full page spreads in and now you've got the, um, you've got the lady with the hyena, I think it is head here or wild dog one of the two and then you've got this uh woman with a uh a ram's head or sheep's head with the horn here being carried by an elephant under the on top of the tusks uh and i thought that was just mind-blowing i mean this is the kind of stuff you see you know in abstract art and and things like that um it's such a lovely book again another double page spread is coming You've got the two portraits here, uh, well, three actually, but you can't really see much of the third one. <coughs> Excuse my voice, guys. Uh, this one looks to be holding uh, a heart. Uh, I don't know if it's a human one. Um, and then another double blank, which means we've got another double page coming up. And you've got all this wonderful uh, jungle scenery here, feathers and leaves and plants. And then centre to all that, you've got the skull, a couple of skulls. Uh, and then you've got this woman uh, staring into it, almost black magic kind of thing. Uh, and then, of course, another double blank, which means that we know what's coming. This is another good one, totally far left from what we've just seen. We've got a, an owl with no eyes, but we do have highlights on the eyes, which indicate the like an opaque white color or a, or a same color but no pupils and then weirdly enough this owl that was looking downwards almost praying and this one as well i've got the hands crossed but the human hands if you can see that guys the, the sort of cross but the human hands and when i saw that i thought wow <coughs> and then you've got the same kind of human hands here holding uh, some hooks uh, on rope, so possibly, you know, sliding down the trees or whatever. 
whichever way around it is, you, you know, to get into this chap's uh, mindset is is a real honour. I think it's he's really really good. And then the final double pager, guys, before we finish the book, is this one. You've got the. Um, this reminds me a bit of Lady Mechanica. Um, <clears throat> and then, I don't know if you saw Maystream a couple of weeks ago or last week when she did the cute pig. Well, these are a bit more uh, daunting than that. I think these are a little bit scarier. But they're carrying axe, so it's an axe-wielding pig. Um, so don't mention a baking sandwich in front of them or they're going to come and chop your bits off. Uh, but this woman does remind me a lot of uh, Lady Mechanica, um, you know, in, in the way that she's stood and the way that she's dressed. Uh, and then you've got this guy that almost looks like a, a male Gorgon, uh, you know, like Medusa. Medusa was a Gorgon who had serpent hair. Uh, but the hat kind of makes him look a bit like Willy Wonka. So I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Uh, but this is a nice intricate piece. Um, you know, it's got all the uh, all the serpents coming out of the head, the tilted hat, uh, and then the portrait face with the umbrella. It just really reminds me of uh, Willy Wonka. Um, and I think that. Oh no, there's another double pager, guys. Um, so then, this is the final one. Um, you've got these really weird old men in the background blended into the foliage that look really sad and uh, depressed, this guy especially. I think it's even showing that there's tears coming down here. Not 100% sure if there was a tears or not. And then again, it comes back with this atmospheric kind of uh, imagery that is, is at the forefront of all these. All these are kind of set back. And then... Is that a mongoose or something similar to that? Uh, and then a, a woman as well that's uh, she's got hold of uh, some kind of monument. So, you know, there may well be a meaning for it. Uh, there may not be, but I was so excited when I saw this book. It's absolutely magnificent. Um, and there are three pages at the back that you can test your mediums out on. Uh, so that is Full Metal. Um, it's an adult colouring book, uh, and it's by an artist called Chris Panettiere. And um, uh, what are we? Uh, what's happening here, mate? Everything okay? What's been going on? Just fill me in, guys. Fill me in. Um, so uh, the, the description, uh, sorry, in the description, there's a link to that book. Uh, I am an Amazon affiliate. Um, it, we're only talking pence, guys, but it doesn't cost you any more if you use the link. But it does, it does kind of, um, it does kind of give you something in the background that adds up eventually uh, and goes towards supporting the channel. Um, so that's that one. Uh, I'm not going to go in depth in this book um, or the uh, Easter book. I'm just going to show them you because of, um, you know, what it is and uh, and that kind of thing. So this is the Charles Santos Snow White. There's a lot of Disney colour alongs going around at the moment. Uh, I just wanted to show you these images because they are so, so cool. Um, this one in particular called Snow White Awakens is such a nice image. Um, I wanted this book for a while because I've got the um, the fairy stories one by Charles Santor and I've got the Wizard of Oz one by Charles Santor. So when I eventually found the Snow White one and the dwarves, which you can see here, uh, they're actually mourning uh, Snow White for the three days she was not with us. Uh, you can see how much of a, an anticipated book it was. So I, I will do a full flip through if anybody wants one uh, at a future date. But I just wanted to uh, make sure that you saw the book uh, and have a chance to be able to buy it. Um, because these are almost, they're all in kind of a frame and they all look really nice done up. Um, you have his other one, it's lovely. It is, isn't it, Nana? Yeah. 
Um, it's it's one of those it's it's one of those books that that kind of you look at his illustrations and you can see that he's old school, but in the same breath you can also see how how, how uh, talented he was, or is, should I say? Um, okay, guys, I'm just going to take a drink. Bear with me. I'll do one, Shannon. Not a problem. It does. It's it's really detailed uh, colouring with D. Uh, do I have to call you colouring with D? Have you got is there a name we can call you? Does it begin with D? You still got my psychic head on. <laughs> um, the the detail on it, uh, like's been mentioned, um, would allow uh, it would allow pencil as well. Uh, there are some that you would look at and you think, ugh. It's got to be fine liners or something like that. Um, but th this this one, you could use a very sharp pencil and get into those nooks and crannies. It's half grayscale grace. It's not fully. There's a, the, there's just bits and bats that are grayscale in it. It's it's not a grayscale book per se. Welcome back, Susie. So I'm I'm really really uh, pleased with that. It, I, I'm uh, quite attracted to uh, Charles Santos' art. Um, oh, hello then, Donna. That's that's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. So yes, Donna. Um, if you want a full flip through of that, I'm happy to make another video and do one for you. Um, I think somebody else, I think it was Shannon, that said she would like one. So I'll do that. Um, and then just briefly with this one, this is nice little town Easter. It's quite a thick book. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Um, and, of course, there are lots of adverts in the back for the other stuff that she's done. She's called Tatiana... Oh, no, Tanya Bogima Stolova. Um, now, I'm doing a colour along with John from the Bibliophile Colourist uh, at Easter with this book. Uh, we haven't decided what we're doing yet, um, but... Obviously, I had to order it, so I've done that. And um, we'll probably have a discussion and see which way we're going to work it. But it's a nice book, actually. It's You know, the, the nice little town ones tended to be a bit repetitive in my... in my uh, uh, What was that, sorry? What was that, Robin? It's not about America. Oh, it's gone. Um... The, the other My Little Town books uh, kind of were a bit repetitive for me, I thought. Um, this one doesn't tend to be sort of hung up on shop fronts and, and you know, the front of houses as much as the other ones were. Uh, you know, for instance, you've got like an outdoor scene here and through a window and various variations of it. Um, so, yeah, that's Nice Little Town Easter, and it's um, that's going to be a featured uh, month uh, with myself and John. <clears throat> so we move on to uh, Fantasy Flower Garden. Uh, Fantasy Flower Garden is one of Christine's more recent books, I believe. She's not actually here today, uh, which I was hoping she would be, but um, she could have given us more information, may, may know. Uh, but th this particular book was one of her latter ones. I have got three of her books. But I haven't touched this one uh, as yet, so I wanted to um, I wanted to start with the Faber Castell uh, hashtag. Uh, I have done some that I've put out online uh, for the um, for the social media side, but I want to do one on the channel as well. Um, so what I was going to do was allow um, yourselves uh, to pick the picture. Uh, but I'm not going to I'm not going to sort of give the uh, image of the whole book because that will take us ages. Um, so what I thought was we'll just look at the first five pages um, and then a bit of audience uh, participation. Uh, we can pick number one to five. Uh, the most popular will uh, will be the one that I'll start on. And I thought that was just something simple and uh, and easy to do like that. Okay. So obviously this is number one. Uh, this is the uh, book belongs to page. The second page is this one. The third page is this one. Beautiful image, that. 
The fourth page is this one. And the fifth page is this one. So if we can have some votes, one to five, guys, uh, whichever's the most popular number, I will start on that picture. Uh, so I'll, I'll let you... Uh, I need one number, Randy, not two. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> I don't know if Nia uh, would have a quick skeg through them or or May would or Sammy. Yeah, I'll recap Sammy. Um, I'm just, rather than go through the whole book, which would take ages, I'm just going to let the audience uh, pick which picture I'm doing. So from the first five pages, uh, the most common number wins. So this is page one, which is the book belongs to page. This is page two. This is page three. This is page four. And this is page five. Obviously, guys, I only need one number because we, we, we just need uh, to count them up. So if we just pick one number um, and then what we can do from then, um, we'll have a quick skeg back and see what's the most popular. I think I know what it's going to be. It's going to be number four. Um, uh, Anielsen. I'm sorry, Anielsen. Um, we don't speak uh, Spanish here. So if you could possibly um, translate that for us into English. It's not about a horse, is it? Four has it. Yeah, I thought it would. Thank you, mate. So... What we're going to do, guys, is use image number four, which is this young fellow here. And what he's doing is he's looking up at these flowers, and then you've got the array of flowers. Also, it's got a bit of a border, the picture picture border, so that's pretty cool. Um, right, thank you, Sammy. Appreciate your help. <clears throat> Okay, so what I thought we'd do first was, let's have a look. I've got my polychromos here, guys. So let's pick some greens to start with for the, I love an olive. So I think I'm going to go with the, So for those who are doing the colour along with me, um, the first colour I selected is olive green yellowish, followed by uh, may green, followed by let's have a look. And this one is green gold. So we're just going to use these three for the time being, guys. Um, <clears throat> what I will do is, um, I just thought of something. We could. We could use this, couldn't we? So we've got olive green. We have green, gold. I don't know. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I do actually know your name, but I've forgotten it, Passionista. What, what's your name, uh, my love? Uh, it's a bit of a long name to call you, Passion, Passionista Colorista. Isabel, that's the one. And then May Green. I 
Okay, guys. Uh, this little one, uh, B Bright, uh, is. Let's have a look. It's an A6 sketch pad at WH Smiths. Um, but they do have them. I'm not, not the Smiths ones, but they do have them on uh, Amazon. Uh, I'll put you a link on after if you like. Um, <clears throat> this is 50 sheets and it's 135 GSM. So it's good to test most things on. Um, but yeah, I'm more than happy to uh, put your link on. I'll do that straight away after the stream if you like. Hello, um, who said hello to Hillary? Hello, uh, Abel, uh, good to see you. Uh, I hope you uh, got my email. I, I know that you, um, wanted some clarification who you were speaking to. So, hi, Ollie. So I hope you uh, kind of read into that situation. Uh, I have sent them off Saturday, um, but like I explained earlier in the stream, I haven't sent them, uh, you know, mega expensive postage, but they are on the way to you. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too, Joyce. You can never be too careful who you're speaking to. Um, I've had some recent uh, issues. Sorry, y'all got to run. I have two chops of computer. Oh, that's uh, really nice of you to let us know that you're going. And thanks for joining us, Donna. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you again sometime. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Are you going, Janice? All right, love. Bye bye. Okay, guys. So I think what we'll do first is we'll start on the uh, on the leaves on the tall plant here. Uh, and I'm going to go over with the uh, lightest color first, which is the um, the mere green. So this is the mere green. This is the green gold. And this is the olive green, which is one of my favorite colors. Again, with the polychromos, uh, they're a blending pencil or a layering pencil. They're not like the uh, the Prismacolor, who are very soft. Um, you do have to kind of be patient with them, but the results are really, really good, in my opinion. So I'm just putting a light layer of May Green on all the four leaves to start with, five leaves guys and then what i'll do is i'll introduce the dark colors at the bottom and then start layering up uh, and hopefully that'll come out really nice okay kim yeah not a problem um i can do one on my next stream if you like or maybe next sundays sorry uh, i won't be doing tuesday because i'm working away for the last time this week um, but next Sunday, uh, if I've not finished this one, so either next Sunday or the following Tuesday from next Sunday, I will do a marker picture. Not a problem. Not a problem. And if you'd like to think about, uh, I mean, we'd maybe have to move, wait till March because I've got pit pens. If you're happy with pit pens, we can do that. Uh, but other than my proper markers are either Copix um, or Spectrum Noir, uh, which wouldn't fit into Faber Castell. Oh, yes, I will also be live on Friday. And while we're on the subject, guys, um, 
Me and May uh, are doing a Valentine's stream because I think most of you know that we are married, um, cyberly speaking, of course. Um, so what what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, May is on at later on today, so she's going to explain the rules. But I'm going to show you the hashtag of what we're doing and a basic uh, upshot of what we're doing. So we're both going to colour the same picture and we're both going to be directing each other on a lot of time that you're allowed to use a certain colour. We're going to pick each other uh, colours to use. And of course, it's not going to be as simple as that because, as you know, there will be a twist to it. So um, I will be bossed around all over the dance uh, by May. Um, but I've got a few tricks up my sleeve for when she starts bossing, <laughs> bossing me about. So... It's all in good fun, of course, and we have a date night planned. So we're both going to use the carrying markers. I don't know if you um, – actually, ironically, colour with clay pops up, but um, we – we uh, we me and May saw these markers on uh, Colour with Clay's channel, and um, we both got them. Um, so what we've decided to do, we're going to use the carrying markers – but our hashtag for social media will be – I'll do that again. Sorry. Our hashtag will be Karen Dash. Clever, eh? <laughs> so we're having a date night. Um the hashtag will be Karen Dash. We are using the Karen markers. Um, and I thought it was uh, a little bit of a, a nice thing to do, as certainly from the social media aspect of it. We can get this uh, generated and we can start and promote it. But obviously the Karen Dash uh, is, is a funny thing to, uh, to be able to do. Um, <clears throat> we haven't decided on the picture yet, but we'll decide that before Friday. And then when May comes on later on, she's going to explain a little bit more about the direction of what it is. It's basic instruction from each other to each other. Uh, and then we have to do that. There's no backing out. So, of course, um, no, they're not Karen Dash markers, Grace. Uh, the, 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 the Karen markers, but it's a play on Karen Dash, the word Karen Dash. So it's not a colour along. It's just a date night. Um did we decide on the book, May? Did we decide on a book? I'm not sure we did, did we? But May, May will reveal all that in her stream later today, guys. Um, I think that Christine's going to immediately follow me after this stream. Uh, so I'll be on there if we uh, manage to have any more information. Uh, the Karen Markers, um, I will uh, put a link up after the stream, Grace. Uh, they are the ones, I'll just go and get them and show them you. Just bear with me a second, please. I believe. Let me just go and get them. You see, this is why people complain about me that I don't get any colouring done. <laughs> <clears throat> These are the Karen brush markers, uh, made by Karen, as you can see on here. And... Um, they are a beautiful, beautiful set. Uh, if you just bear with me. That's the full set. There are 60 in there, I think. Uh, they look like this. And you, they're actually transparent. You can see the ink uh, moving down the barrel. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll put that in as well, um, May. They've got a very fine brush tip, but they're, they're incredibly juicy. You have to be careful. Um, no, I didn't get the metallic to be bright. Just got this set, um, but they are. They really are beautiful. Uh, they're, they're such a good marker. Um, I saw them on Colour with Claire. She did a. She did a review of them. And they blend absolutely phenomenal, don't they, May? And um, and of course, you know, you can come up with your own colour schemes and things like that. 
but specifically, it's not a colour along. You're more than welcome to colour along with us. Um, but obviously, we didn't want to specify it as a colour along because we don't want people to go out and having to spend 80 quid on, on a set of markers. So we've just called it Karen Dash uh, on a play for Karen Dash, if that makes any sense. It was wonderful, wasn't it, Michelle? Um, I, I really enjoyed it, and she she kind of sold it to me, and me, I think, um, on on the premise that that, that, that that so much like a watercolour paint and that they can be blended and things like that. So there's a lot of experimental usage with them. And, um, okay, Shannon, thank you very much for joining. I'll speak to you later. So, of course, the, the, there is an experimental uh, element to having them markers, um, you know, in different books and different kind of papers. So it, it's it's going to be uh, very, very enjoyable to, uh, you know, to, to, to do it. So I'm very looking forward to that next Friday. So next week, guys, I'll be streaming Friday and then Sunday. And then after next Sunday, it'll be back to normal. So it'll be Tuesdays and Sundays. So just to go back on this, guys, uh, I am doing um, just some light layers of the May green. Can everybody read my writing? Is that okay? I'm not the best writer in the world, but... Uh... <clears throat> so what's everybody... Um, what's everybody on with at the moment? What's everybody colouring? Uh, can you all let me know so that I can read them out? I'd like to know that. And if you want to... Uh, show me as well as explain to me what you what you're currently on with, then um, I'm sure that me or Sammy will be more okay. Or Kim or Naya will be kind enough to put my link for my. Um... Thank you, Kim. That's lovely of you to say. Thank you. Sometimes it it, it pleases some people, and you know it, it annoys others. So you can't please everybody, can you? Um, but if somebody would like to, one of my mods would like to put um, my Instagram link up for my channel um, so I can go through each people, what they're working on, and then if they want to show me, they can tag me on there. So let's start off at the beginning. Be Bright is, used, is in the Jane Austen book. Michelle is on Circles of Love. Ashley is working on the ship's sea page in Imagimorphia. Excellent. Um, Beverly is doing Seasons by Hannah Carlson. Lots of Valentine stuff. Uh, Magical Dawn for Michelle is also doing that. Uh, Beth is having a tidy up. Uh, lots of mixed media items. Hello, Shelley. Lovely, lovely of you to come. Thank you for joining. Uh, Nana is on with Belinda and any square rose PDFs. Kim is doing some Jade Summer. Uh, Grace is on with colour with uh, colourful quilts. Uh, Susie just finished a page in a mandala book. Dee Dee is on Garden of Joy too. Do you remember me showing that book, DD? It's a lovely book, isn't it? Uh, Pamela Kane's on with Fairy Miracles. Um, Kimberly wishes she was colouring, uh, but she's finished up doing Conmari to a close at the moment. Uh, but she's almost finished one for my Faber Castell page. Brilliant. I'd look forward to seeing that. Uh, Randy is doing Joey Lim Friends of Nature Koi Picture. Uh, Ollie's on with uh, Deborah Muller, Princess Book. Melinda is on with a stained glass colour by Number Book uh, by Zendoodle. Blue, bit of blue, 
Oma Gamma, uh, Charlotte, hello Charlotte. Um, Isabel's just ordered Castle Art and Black Widows, excellent. Forest Gale 2 for Katrina. Oh, that's that's really good. There's a lot of variety there, guys. So, like I say, if if you um, tag me on Instagram or if you don't already follow me, you're more than welcome to, and I'll accept you. Uh, and then you can tag me and show me your pictures, um, and then we can discuss them, you know, uh, at a later stage, or you can ask me if I've seen them, and then what we can do is, you know, we can bat some ideas off against each other if there's something in particular about that picture that we both like. Uh, I think that sharing is caring. And um, it would be good to get get you involved interactively like that. I think it's important. Um, you know, without using the old cliche that people use saying it's, you know, it's not my channel, it's yours kind of thing. But it's it's everybody's channel. And, I, I, you know, I, I am, uh, Joyce, I'm using the uh, May Green first, which is the bottom one here. Um, I've put two small layers of, of light layers on there so far. I'll check that out, Kim. I did see some of your other work. It was absolutely stunning. Um, I really enjoyed looking at that. Uh, but I'll look at that when I uh, when I get off. Uh, Susie just got a lightning deal on Amazon. 160 oil pencils for 20 quid. Wow. Thank you, May. Wow, that is that is a bargain. What, um, oh, I was just about to ask you, Lacanil, is that what they call Lacanil? You'll have to let us know how they, um, how they lay down, Susie. You'll have to let us know. So all I'm doing now, guys, is... <clears throat> Covering uh, Christine's uh, shading lines uh, with a very light layer of the green gold, um, which, if I say so, if I don't, if I don't mind saying so myself, uh, fits in with May Green, uh, lovely. It really does. Um, so yeah, just putting patches of that in here. I think, May, we've got many of the same books. Uh, so I don't think there will be. Um, right, yeah, that's 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 kind of you, Susie. Yeah, you'll have to let us know. Because obviously, if you can get 160 oil pencils for 20 quid and, the, and the, you know, they're the quite decent, then, you know, it's a good thing to purchase. Um because you can use them without using your better pencils, can't you? Uh, and again, that's always an advantage to uh, to have. Okay, guys, so I'm now going to put a light layer of the olive green, which is the top one here. Um, and yeah, uh, I got the full metal book last year, it's awesome, and it's perfect. So, it, isn't it just? And what do you think of the artwork, Anya? Um, uh, it's very unusual, isn't it? In so much that it's very unique compared to most people. Um, you know, everybody, everybody kind of portrays Medusas and 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 portraits and you know, foliage and that, but the way that he's done it is, uh, is incredible. Hi, cat lady. Gaz, dude. Nice of you to join, mate. Hope you're well. I don't suppose anybody knows the Man City score from early on, do they? So, of course, the darker parts of the leaves, um, I'm just putting a bit of the uh, olive green in. 
But once it's all layered up, I think the contrast will be a lot more visible than it is at the moment. But I'm not the quickest colourist, so I do apologise if uh, it's painstaking. Um, but I don't like rushing stuff. Uh, uh, some people can fly through a pitch. Um, I'm not really that, you know, that good at it to be able to do that. But, um, you know, it's the enjoyment more than anything, as you all are aware. So, okay, guys, I've, I've put... Um, Two light layers of the mere green on so far and one light layer of the green gold and olive green. So I'm going to go back in with the mere green, which is the original colour. 6 nil to City. Oh, wow. Um, I don't suppose you've got scorers as well, have you? <laughs> Sorry, mate. Cheers, Gaz. So, again, just emphasising up here where the, um, where the original colour was. I'm just putting another layer in there, but I am going over the other two blends as well to marry them all up a little bit. And then in the final result, we should have something that's okay. I think another thing that's uh, important to know is that I'm quite light-handed, so again, that slows you down a little bit. Um, you know, you could go in really hard straight away, uh, but then, of course, you've burnished your picture before you've even had a chance to uh, play about with any colours or blends or anything. So it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. A little bit more shading on this side of the leaf here, where the uh, stem of the flower is um, behind it. Uh, I'll just go back a little tick. Yeah, it takes some doing, Michelle, to get lighter. I think I may have gone overboard with it. Um, I I kind of, um, you know, I had to, I had to force myself because I've got quite big hands. And, um, you know, I was going into the picture with quite heavy coats and, and what have you. And then it, it, it didn't allow me for any room to manoeuvre after that. So, of course, you know, I was... Um, I was stuck down a cul-de-sac kind of thing because there was nothing I could do. Um, so I had to change completely into, into such a light way of, uh, of applying the colour. Who's on next, mate? Is it Christine? Uh, she's on in 45 minutes, I think. Okay, so we're all right for the moment.
Thank you, Katrina. Yeah. It's just like I said, I, I had a few negative comments after the last video expressing that, you know, I was um, taking too long to colour and things like that. But I can only kind of do it the way I know how, really. And um, if, if by the time I've finished all the other stuff doesn't leave me enough time to colour, then so be it, you know. Uh, I don't get a lot of opportunity to stream, so I have to come quite a lot in into the program um, because, of course, you know, I've got a job and I'm all over the place that is quite time-consuming, um, you know. And like this week, for instance, I'm supposed to stream on Tuesday and I can't do that because I'm away. Um, so, of course, when it comes to Friday... You're trying to you're trying to get everything into one program, and if you know you can't always do it, so it is what it is. Thanks, Nana. So now, guys, I'm just going in with the darkest colour, which is olive green. I'm not pressing on at all. I'm just flicking um, a bit like you would do with uh, hair, if you was colouring hair. So I'm just flicking the pencil up to to marry up to the lines that the uh, illustrator has done, Christine. And that way you kind of get the feel that the... Uh, the nesting of the leaves at the bottom is darker, hopefully. But like I say, it's very, very light layers. I'm not pressing on at all. And then I'll go back in with the green gold. I just need to sharpen that a little bit more, guys. Um, and then I'll start probably just where the olive green finished and then do the same technique going up towards the green that we put down as the initial coat. Uh, the one in this colour is DD. Hmm? Um, I'm not sure, Kim, without looking. I'll look later. Sorry, do you want me to look now? I've got my iPad here. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate, um, Isabel, but it's just one of them things, isn't it? You know, you, you can't please everybody. Anyway, so um, here, guys, where my pencil tip is, is where the... Uh, the olive green started, so I don't want to make that a lot darker than what it already is. So I'm going to start about here and do the same, the same kind of technique as I did with the olive green, and hopefully that will give it a kind of uh, contrast between the two colours, um, so that you can see the uh, the leaf take shape. And then we'll just find off. <laughs> you have a way of words, Kenny, but that's not a problem, love. I hope you feel okay. Um, and I'll speak to you in a some stream or other soon. Hope you're okay. And thanks for joining. 
so again just to finish off guys i'm doing the same thing again uh but just moving further up the leaf with the uh with the green that we have here which is the may green Well, I, I don't know why, uh, Cat Lady, but it, it it wasn't said directly to me. That's the most frustrating thing about it. It was said on another stream. Uh, and, of course, obviously there, weren't, there was not a realisation that that can be rewatched, uh, And I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Uh, it, you know, so. Oh, I have done, mate. I'm just explaining myself, that's all. Um, oh, welcome back, Janice. Nice of you to uh, to join us back again. Is Christine definitely streaming, uh, May? Are you going for your roast dinner, Nia? I hope that you enjoy it. All oh, right, okay. I was just wondering because obviously she's not in here. She did tell me earlier this morning that she was uh, trying to get some sleep or catch up on some sleep. So I'm kind of wondering if um, I'm using the uh, the polychromos, Becky, uh, the Faber Castell for the Faber Castell uh, hashtag. I think Nia's having roast chicken. And I could absolutely devour that now, a roast chicken dinner. Sounds gorgeous. Um, I usually do pretty well with cooking, but I've not done much this weekend. Which is a bit of a pity. But I'm setting off down slough tonight. Oh, roast ham it was. Yes, I do apologise. They were talking about chicken, weren't they, Nana? And then she said that she was having uh, uh, ham for a change. Hello, Lizette. I wondered where you were. Ah, Louise, you're having a chicken dinner. Yeah, you can't beat, you can't beat a chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's, uh, it's a traditional one. I, I do prefer roast beef, to be honest. Of course, beef's a lot more expensive, um, but I think the concept of a roast dinner, you know, itself is just the appealing thing. I don't think it matters which meat you have personally. Yeah, somebody needs to come and make me one as well. Katrina's having rotisserie chicken with broccoli and cheese with a Greek salad. 
Now, uh, I'm actually salivating, uh, Katrina. That sounds gorgeous. This is true. <laughs> this is true, colourful cat lady. Uh, I'm, I'm a massive fan of chicken breast. Uh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I like chicken too, Kim. Um, but I think I think beef is my favourite as well. Uh, I, I tend to get um, a joint of top side, which is salmon cut. Why they call it salmon cut, I have no idea. It's just the the butcher's technique of cutting, I think. It's nothing to do with fish. Um, but uh, a salmon cut top side is absolutely superb. It's as lean as hell, but really, 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 really nice. Okay. So now, guys, uh, we need to get some more colours. And what I thought with the flowers was not not these flowers in the centre, um, the flowers that are all around here. These little bits, uh, these finicky bits here, I'm going to do in glitter gel pen. But I think the all these daisy type flowers in the um, in the wreath that goes round, they're all going to be um, in blues. Kim is having boneless chicken, potato and corn squash. Oofed. I, 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 I hear you, Nana. I'm the same. Uh, I don't like uh, undercooked food at all. And Michelle's having tacos. Beautiful. It is a good piece of meat, yeah. It's making me hungry as well, Kim. <laughs> I'm absolutely starving. Uh, I've only had some cereal and some toast today so far. Um, but I will be getting a meal down me before I set off down there. So I'm going to pull some blues out. Um, I think I'll try and do uh, a kind of turquoisey turquoise blue combo just for a change. So let me bring the case to the camera. Let's have a, have a look at what we can get out of here so if i use the the coat no let's let's go more turquoise um, no that is it yep so let's try i'm sure there's a more turquoise selection than this no okay Let's go with cobalt green as our lightest colour. Uh, and then we will go with helio turquoise. And then to finally finish it all up, I'm going to whack in some uh, either Prussian no, let's go darker than that. Let's have some dark indigo in the house. <laughs> so the three that I've selected, guys, I'll just uh, turn this over. In fact, these are detachable, so I'll just write on this one. So we've got... So we've got dark indigo. We have helio turquoise. And we have cobalt green. <clears throat> now we can everybody see that yeah put it up there this case uh katrina is 
Let me just try and remember the make. There must be something in here that'll tell me. It holds 240 pencils. I've got three of these um, because I've got one and a half sets of the polychromo. So of course uh, that's 180 pencils. And then I've I've in in I can't remember the it's not the BT Sky, whatever they're called. It's not one of them. Um what I will do, uh Katrina, I have got your email address, Anta. So I'll send you a link, love. Um look up. Hello, Mia. What am I looking up? All right, okay. I'll send you a link, Gina, um, and then you can have a look for yourself, love. <clears throat> okay, Michelle, thanks for joining. I really appreciate you coming. Hello, Scooby Girl. Did, did I buy the cards cut with a hole in? Yeah, I did. I, well, I didn't buy them. I, the same person who donated the books that I showed on Friday sent me another, uh, sent me a personal uh, happy mail a bit since, and these were in them. Um, they're from WH Smith's. But I, I think you can buy these on Amazon anyway. Did I just start or am I near the end? Uh, I'm kind of two thirds of the way through, uh, Scooby. Yeah, I'll keep going, uh, May. I'm glad you've managed to get all the Christine. Um, what are they called? Uh, I have no idea. Index cards, something like that. Um, if you get onto something similar, uh, It'll also show you related products. You'll find them eventually. They're good for your channel, though, because obviously if you're uh, you, you're not having to repeat yourself and that kind of thing. Um, so it does make it... Hello, Deborah. It doesn't matter that you're late. Nice of you to join us. Okay, guys, same format. Um, so, Uh, I was tagged in a um, the YouTuber tag video um, last month, and uh, I've always been meaning to um, to to follow up that tag because I was tagged by them uh, by uh, Nick and Tina. It was, um, <clears throat> and I've always been meaning to do the questions. Now, the person I mentioned earlier that does bits of admin and things like that. Uh, I've got the questions available. So if that's something you want me to do on this stream or do it on a separate stream, I'm happy to do it. Um, but of course, that's down to yourselves. If you just rather carry on and chat amongst yourselves, that's fine. Um, but like I said, I I, uh, I have got the questions written out now in um, on my iPad. So that's totally your call, guys. Just let me know. So again, I'm just using the uh, the bottom one here, which is cobalt green. Uh, and what I'm doing is just doing a full, really, really light layer of, of that color, just much like we did the leaves. And, um, and then take it from there. 
and then we'll start going in with the uh, the darker colors after but sometimes you get to a point where you know that you can control the pencil pretty well you know and you you, you kind of just you don't even feel as though you're touching the paper but you know that you are sounds a bit weird but i know what i'm trying to say <laughs> Um. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, you want me to do it, do you guys? No problem. Hello, Cynthia. Nice of you to join. Okay, I'll just um, I'll just finish this layer off, and then I'll get the questions out, and then I'll tag the three people uh, that. that I have to tag. Okay, Michelle. You have a pet mouse named Cheeto. That's cool. That, that is a cool name. It really is. Let me just... Uh, <clears throat> let me just find on here... The questions. In fact, guys, while I um, while I do that, I'm going to take a five minute break uh, and refresh my cup of tea. So that means that I'm on a break. I don't know if you remember. Uh, I need to buy a sign, and I will do that. Um, but if you just bear with me, guys, I'll uh, I'll be back in about two or three four minutes. Uh, with a fresh cup of tea, and I'll have the questions ready.
Hello everybody, I'm back. Got a nice cup of tea here. Is everybody okay? I found the questions. So, um, first of all, I'm going to tag uh, Maybrox. I'm also going to tag Colour and Chat with Sammy. And I'm also going to tag Christine. So, these are the questions that I was given when I was tagged into the uh, into the post, which were done by uh, Nick and Tina on one of their videos. So I'll just get to the uh, questions for you. <coughs> yeah, I've tagged you, mate. Too late. Okay, the first question uh, was, how many color tubers am I subscribed to? Um, now, I had a look, uh, and it's about 120. Um, various different artists, various different channels, uh, and, of course, um, the ones that we speak to on a daily basis, uh, but they are the ones that I like to, um, I like to subscribe to. Question two uh, was, when do I usually watch Colour Tube? Now, that varies, obviously, with my working day. Um, I would say generally the most is at night time uh, because that's, that's when I'm either chilling out when I've got back from work. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's a really, really uh, nice time to uh, come home from work, have a shower, get some food, and kind of just kick back and um, and watch Colour Tube. So it tends to be more of a night time than the daytime, but it is quite often, and I would say it's most days out of the... Um... Hello, Pickle. How are you doing, my little Branston? Question three was, how do I balance Colour Tube watching with making videos and colouring? <laughs> I've discussed this already. Um... I don't have enough hours in the week to do as much as I'd like to do, um, but I'd, I would obviously do more if I could. Uh, but balance, balancing colour tube watching and making videos um, is kind of, uh, obviously, I've changed streaming days, so let's just keep it at the, at the Friday. I'd, I'd do some colouring during the week before the Friday stream, and then when Friday comes, I would be doing the prep work for the channel um if if it required so uh and then if there's a themed month of course the coloring would be around that for example this month uh is feber castell uh, hashtag feber castell so most of my coloring has been around uh fitting in with that hashtag and as most uh streamers will tell you if you get a chance to do two things at once under the same banner then you are going to grab it with both hands because it's it's uh, it's a very time saving exercise. Okay, question four was: Is there a difference in the videos you love watching and making? Now, yes, there is a difference because uh, I like to watch videos where I learn things, but I, I don't just come on to Colour Tube to watch uh, and and watch educated. You know educational streams i like to have uh, fun as well so um i would kind of separate it where i go to so i know prior to watching um okay christine hello love um so prior to watching i know that if i go to certain types of channels i know that i'll be getting some comedy i know that if i go to some other types of channels I know that I'll be getting some uh, education in, in what they're doing and, and being able to learn things. Uh, and then, of course, making the videos uh, depends on uh, subscriber demand and it also depends on, on what you've decided to do as far as um, month by month. Most streamers that I know, uh, they have certain things to do in, in a month uh, or they theme it in some way so that it's um, it's pretty, you know, concise and kept together. 
Um, so you making your videos would be around doing that. And then of course you escape by uh, watching different videos uh, to learn stuff and have, have, uh, have some com comedy element. So that would be my answer to that. Who were the first color tubers you subscribed to and do I still watch them? Okay, uh, do you want the honest answer? Of course you do. Um, so there's no point in not being honest. The first two colour tubers I watched were uh, Anne from A Colourful Life and Petter Hewitt. Uh, I still, uh, and also Dee Dee, um, I still watch Petter Hewitt and Dee Dee. Uh, I, I don't watch Anne anymore. Um, and that's that question. Uh, let's have a look. Number six. Question six, who is the most recent you sub to? Uh, the most recent I sub to would be, um, I think it's going to be the hobbyist uh, who I subscribed to either last week or the week before. Uh, great new channel on the rise. Uh, got a very, very good sense of humor and the way that she does things. Um, so the hobbyist would be probably the one that I've most recently subscribed to, certainly in the colour tube uh, family anyway. Question number seven. Share a favourite older colour tuber. Um, to share a favourite older colour tuber... Um, I don't know if that question means older as in age or older as in one of your first from your list. Um, but certainly the one that I would recommend to anybody without any hesitation whatsoever would be Dee Dee. Uh, the woman is a is a, an absolute genius at whatever she puts her hand to. Uh, the, the, the work and the input that comes out of that lady is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> so I would share um, Dee Dee's channel to anybody without a second thought. Question eight. Uh, my favourite new colour tuber. Uh, my favourite new colour tuber would have to be... Let me think about that. Um, it would have to be... Mm. Can I come back to that one? I'll come back to that one. There's a couple. I just can't quite make my mind up at the moment. So I'll come back to question eight, which was my favourite new colour tuber. Uh, question nine is, what's a colour tuber? What's my colour tuber pet peeve? <laughs> well, we could go on for ages with that, and I, I don't want to do, be disrespectful to other people. Uh, so I'll just say people that aren't genuine. I think that uh, would just about sum it up for me. I cannot stand uh, people who are fake. So that would be my pet peeve. Uh, question 10 is, what have you learned from ColorTube? Okay, um, what I've learned from ColorTube is a lot. Uh, I've learned all sorts of stuff, as in technique and that kind of thing. But if the, if the question is more around um, what have I learned as in life lessons from uh, Colour Tube, that would be more down the line of um, just stick with a small circle of people that you know and that you trust, uh, and that way you can't go wrong. Uh, so anybody starting a channel, uh, I think that if you ascertain to yourself who that you trust and who you don't trust, and then um, just set about it from there, and then go about your different techniques by looking for uh, skin tutorials. You can look for blending videos, marker videos, that kind of thing. And you can learn all sorts. You really can. It's um, it's very, very easy to, uh, you know, to, to, to get anything on YouTube these days. So I can't, I can't stress enough that, you know, if, if you want to learn something, give it a go. You know, don't be scared of it. Um, try it out you know i don't think that you can be much more uh honest with yourself than that and and just give it a good go 
And question 11 is tag some color tubers. So <laughs> sorry about that, guys. So I obviously uh, preempted that question. Of course, I didn't really. Uh, but uh, the color tubers I tag are Sammy, Christine, and me. But what I am going to do is, uh, because uh, there are people who are not in their uh, thousands of subscribers, I'm also going to tag uh, a couple of smaller channels. And I don't like calling them smaller channels uh, because it doesn't mean that they're small in size. It just means that they've only just started, probably. So I'm also going to I'm also going to tag Susie from Susie's Colouring Cottage. Uh, if you don't know who Susie is, she is uh, on the stream at the moment. She's got a wonderful new channel out there. Uh, I'm also going to tag uh, Pickle. Pickle is quite well known in the colouring community. She also has a channel. So I'm going to add those two people. Uh, it's the colour tube tag, Grace. I was tagged by Nick and Tina. Um <clears throat> So I'm also going to tag those uh, two people, Susie and uh, Pickle, uh, to give them um, just a bit of exposure, really, because they are quite loyal as far as uh, answering people's streams, and they do go from stream to stream. And if Nana Mo had one, I'd also be tagging her as well. Um, and that, that's the kind of thing that I'm going to do. Just going back to my favourite new channel, um, it would have to be Susie, actually. Um, Susie's Colouring Cottage, lovely new channel. Uh, I think you should all try and, uh, you know, have a watch of it, if you think. Um, I, I'll send you um, the list on Instagram pickle. Um, <laughs> I know, Nana, but uh, you're such a lovely person. I would have tagged you as well. Um yeah, he's just been on the channel, Grace, just, just before you came on. Um, so those are my answers. And if you check Susie out, guys, just go to the three dots, uh, watch some of her videos. They are really good. And um, and those are my answers for now. Uh, so I do um, thank you all for listening. I do kind of put it out there. And obviously, um, you did want me to do the questions now. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and, and I was honest 100% with the answers, as I am with everything else. And uh, there you go. Not a problem, guys. Uh, you, you won't regret it, Mona. Um, the, you know, the, the, there is... Um, by uh, Amused, there is some lovely little channels out there, um, you know... <clears throat> But it's a case of coming across them, isn't it? And uh, if they come recommended, I didn't tag you, Grace. Did you want me to tag you? Because I can do if you like. Do you want me to tag you, Grace? Okay, I also tag Grace. I will. I will. I'll look now, um, Kim. What do you want me to look for? If this pictures of your family on there. Was that the question? Let's have a look, love. Do, 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 do. Yeah, what's your um it ain't Kim, is it? What's your um IG name? Yeah, I also tag you, Janice. <laughs> I will tag you, my darling, especially living in Cleveland's place close to my heart. Yeah, it's art. Yeah, I, I don't know if you want me to read that out, but uh, so I'm looking at your pics now, Kim. Um, scrolling through, there's a lot of excellent artwork on here. I've come across no humans at the moment. Um, let me just keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There's one picture. Uh, there's two ladies on there. I presume you and possibly someone else. Uh, I, I don't know whether you want me to say things or not. So I'm, I'm just being as as uh, 
as politically correct as I can be. Um, there is a picture of two ladies on there. There's also a picture of a baby and a small child. Um, there's also a picture of, I think it's you and a young girl. Yeah, there's there's quite a few. There's a, there's another young girl, a very pretty, cute young girl. There's a dog. Uh, there's a girl who looks to be in a gymnasium. Same girl again. Yeah, there's one of you as well. Um, so yeah, there are pictures on there. Do you want me to promote that for you, or do you want me to tell you so you can take them off, or what? I don't know what the uh, no, it's not a problem, Kim. Not at all. You do a lot for me. It's not a problem. Not an issue. <coughs> just got a phone call from my parents. They need help. They just got a new laptop. I can't forget. Okay, Kim, thanks for joining. Uh, lovely of to join. ta -ra. And um, hello, Faith. Mod salute. Yeah, they were just in here earlier, Grace. Um uh, so, yeah, I've tagged you and I've tagged Janice as well. Uh, I understand that, Kim. That's why I was very cautious in what I said. Uh, but there are some small children on there, if that's what you need to know. Uh, and if you need any advice at all, uh, then feel free to message me. I am. Uh, I did work in child protection and stuff, so if there's anything I can help you with, I'm more than happy. Okay, guys, so back on to... Um, this little cluster, I'm not going to do the whole thing with one layer and then go around and around and around. I'm just going to do it in clusters so that we can see results as they come through. So I'm using um, the bottom colour at the moment, which is cobalt green. It's a very turquoisey pale colour. It's a lovely colour. This will take quite a lot of layers in, in, in the book, I would imagine. Yeah, I... It's not an issue, Kim. I, I, I would just have the sneaky feeling that you had some protection issues. So obviously because of that, I didn't I didn't want to um, say a lot, obviously. Uh, but if you do have any questions on the protection of, of privacy and, and, and children, then by all means, uh, send me a message. I'll try and help you if I can. Okay. So... Um, just going to go in with the mid color now guys which is the um the helio turquoise and all i'm going to do with that is is i'm just going to start at the root of the petal and just slowly bring uh, that color on top of the cobalt green not too much i just want a touch of it really um Because, of course, we're going to be going back in a couple of times with cobalt green anyway. So I don't want to make it too dark in so much that the um, the cobalt won't show through. Uh, send you pick questions on Facebook Messenger. Yeah, of course I can, Susie. Uh, the, the, from my inbox, um, as a screenshot from the person I mentioned earlier on so uh, obviously i don't want uh, anything saying about that in fact i'll i'll try and block the uh, the name off before i send it on the picture but it's an instagram inbox so is christine still here yeah, no, I knew that. So it's just obviously, um, it's just something, you know, that 
you have to be careful with data protection, haven't you, and things like that. Some people aren't bothered, some are. So you've got to be uh, really careful about what you disclose to others, I think. So all I've done really, guys, so far is um, I've just gone in a little bit with the uh, Helio turquoise um, on top of the cobalt green. So now I'm just going to go back in with the cobalt green and do a full layer again. Oh, that's that's fine, Isabel. Thank you very much for joining. Um, it's very kind of you. I have seen your inbox. I'll reply to it when I finish streaming. Hello, Becca. I got your email the other day as well, Becca. Did you get my reply? Hello, Pepsi. Hi, Jude. Um, I'm using the polychromos. No, I've not swapped time with Christine. She's on now. She's supposed to be on now, but she's running a little bit late. So I'm just carrying on until I'm told otherwise, um, just at the moment, because uh, obviously if there's, if Christine's running a little bit late, then I'm more than happy to just uh, carry on with you guys. That's why I asked you if I want to do the questions and stuff, uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm sorry there's not been a lot of colouring, but obviously we've, we've, you know, we've touched base with everything really, haven't we? So it's one of them. situations what i am going to do guys is i think i'm going to set off down to slough which is about a 270 mile drive from my house i'm going to set off about midnight which will get me there for about five in the morning uh, which gives me time to have a quick shower unpack my bag and then get straight out for a, a day's work. I prefer it that way than going, you know, earlier and then having to resist sleeping and that kind of thing. Uh, it's much better to just get there, get refreshed with a shower, and then um, and then you're out and about, you know. But what that does allow me to do is after this stream, guys, I'll be able to. Um, order some food and um oh thank you nana uh what 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 it'll, i'll i'll be allowed to do now is obviously after the stream's finished i'll be able to chill out with uh, may and christine's stream and i can order some food um and that gives me you know three or four hours downtime before i set off i've packed my bag already which is quite Quite good for me, really, to be prepared in that way. Um, and then I'll be back, hopefully, Thursday evening, late Thursday. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to use, for the first time, the dark indigo. I will do, Mia. Uh, I always do, to be fair. Um I will do, Mona. Thank you. Um, this is dark indigo, guys. Obviously, there's not going to be massive amounts of this, but I love the colour indigo. It reminds me of... Um, I know that royal blue is lighter, but it, it still reminds me of a very royal or... How can I put it? Military kind of colour. Um, and I always think it looks right smart, me, this this kind of color um you know if, if i were to buy a jacket or any outerwear really um i'd be drawn to something of this kind of color i think it's lovely so i want some of that in here and of course we'll finish all this picture on stream I'm not going to do any of this picture off stream. I'm going to make sure that this is done on stream so that this can be kind of designated just to the channel and you guys uh, joining me on lives.
I'm excited to join you as well, Christine. Uh, Fridays were getting on, on my wick, you know, with working and people mourning and stuff like that. So I, I've just kind of thought, well, it's best I move, you know, than I am getting in other people's way. And then it allows me on a Friday as well to not rush home from work because sometimes I don't finish till maybe 7 p.m. And then, of course, I've got travelling home to do. Uh, you get home for maybe 8 o'clock, and then you've got in back of your mind then that you're streaming in an hour. So you've got to do what you get, what everybody does when they get home from work, and then, you know, think about streaming. Whereas on a Sunday, I know for definite I won't be nine, eight, eight, nine times out of ten, I won't be working on a Sunday. Whereas probably nine, ten times out of ten, I will be working on a Friday. So kind of makes sense. Yeah, I've I've had to do pickle because obviously, oh good, I'm glad it pleases you, Jude. Yeah, I'll I'll be the same. I mean, I've always enjoyed Sundays. Anyway, it's nice to be a part of it. Um, it is hard fighting traffic, Christine. That's why, like tonight, I don't know if you were here. Um, yeah, you are just down road, aren't you, Louise? Yeah, are you, was it Reading you said you were at? Um, but as I was saying just before, Christine, I don't know if you managed to catch it. Um, I'm going to set off about midnight. It's it's a good three and a half, four hour drive. But you're not fighting traffic. I'll get there for sort of just, you know, round it off at 4 a.m., let's say. Um, I can be in my room, unpacked. Um, you know, get me work clothes on, get get me uh, uniform fettled and all that kind of stuff, get me camera ready and get everything ready to go out of the door. And I can be out for 5.30. And, of course, it's early to start, but it's an earlier finish. But you're coming back to your hotel room and you're not fighting traffic. So Oh, bless you, Louise. That's where I'm going, Langley. Yeah, uh, it's SL388. PS, I think it's around that area, is where I'm going. Um, yeah, it's quite nice up there. I'm not particularly fond of parts of Uxbridge. I must, I must say, I um, I was doing some work there last week for the first time. I've not really been there much before, um, but I must say, I had a few problems in Uxbridge last week. Um, it's not the nicest of areas. Where, well, it's certainly where I was anyway. I'm not generalising. Um, you know, there, there were quite nasty people in certain parts of it. Um, So again, guys, just touching up with the dark indigo in the centres. I'm trying not to make it symmetrical because if you just do a perfect circle in the middle, you know that the shading don't look real, real that way. So some petals will be longer than others, some will be shorter than others, with the dark streaks in, and just try and make it look as natural as possible, really. If you get me drift. Castle Films, uh, thank you for that. Um, interested in your opinion and or knowledge of uh, Laurentian pencil crayons, lots on eBay. Uh, I've not tried them, um, Castle Films. Uh, I do, however, have um, some... Um, my, my channel is monetized, so I do have some <clears throat> money in the bank to spend for the channel. Um, I'm more than happy to buy a set and uh, let you know. Um, I will certainly look out for them. Let me make a note of them. Uh, 
Laurentian. You're welcome to try some Laurentians. I've used them exclusively. They don't make them anymore. That's why I have to use eBay to get them. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I will certainly um, <coughs> uh, make an effort to get some. Um, I do like uh, getting new sets of pencils. Uh, I'm more than happy to review them on the channel. So thanks for letting me uh, know about those. Uh, but I'll certainly be uh, looking at them. Let me just get some a bit more natural indigo in here. Hello, Pamela. Lovely for you to come back. I look forward to it. Yes, they're originally Canadian, hence the uh, name Laurentian, yep. And they're made in the US. Well, that is really, really nice to know. Thank you. Um, like I said, I do, I do like uh, coming across new stuff. I don't know if you're a regular viewer to my channel, um, but... Uh, as most of the stream will tell you, uh, I do like to come across unique books and things like that. Uh, and I often try and, you know, show a diverse uh, range of what's out there. Um, so, of course, those kind of pencils, based on what you say, um, are going to fit in perfectly with how I do things anyway. So thanks for the info. I'll uh, I'll look into that. <coughs> Christine, you just let me know when I'm when you're ready, love. I'm I'm just uh, filling in the gap at the moment. They blend easily and have a spectacular range of colours. Yeah, brilliant. Um, it's what I like to hear. Thanks, uh, Castle Films. Is there a name I can call you by, or would you just prefer to be called Castle? I can call you Windsor. <laughs> almost done okay well you just let me know christine and uh oh thank you Mies. that's lovely of you to say Appreciate that. But I'll certainly uh, look into that castle. Um, oh, are we back on uh, Jumpy, are we? Uh, let me just turn it off. Do -do 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 One second, guys. There we are, that should be better. Just injecting caffeine now. <laughs> Thomas is fine. Okay, Thomas, that's that's a lot better. Uh, I just you just flew past there. I didn't manage to uh, get what else you said. Uh, Thomas is fine. Castle films are vintage films that I have been in the process of collecting and preserving. Oh, you're. Um, that sounds very, very interesting. Um, okay, stream, uh, we have uh, a lad called Thomas that's joined us. Um, 
he is part of uh, a YouTube channel called Castle Films. Um, uh, he deals with vintage films, but he's also a colorist. So I'd appreciate it if everybody could make him welcome and, um, you know, say hello and get, get him made to feel welcome. Yeah, this joint is jumping, Ollie. <laughs> It's uh, I, I, sometimes it comes on and then sometimes it goes off on its own. Uh, not a problem, mate. Not a problem. It's nice to have you. Yeah, lovely to have you, Mish, along uh, along with Thomas. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it, uh, Thomas? I don't know if you uh, if I'm in the same ballpark or anything. Um, thank you, Nana. Uh, but I remember seeing some um, some footage of. Adolf Hitler and the Nazis that had been that had been recolored um, from from old film, um, and I'm quite amazed really at the. I don't know how they did it. I presume that they did it, you know, some some scientific way. Um, but I was amazed really at looking at the black and white and then looking at the color. Some of the stuff you would not have imagined uh, to to have been that color. Uh, and I found that really, really interesting. Um, you know, you, you kind of paint you paint yourself an image, don't you, uh, of certain things when the black and white. And um, and of course, when it showed you this this coloured uh, film that they'd either you know uh, adopted or whether they had um, you know put the colour into it themselves, which I think they did. They manipulated it themselves. Some of the colours I looked and I thought, my God, I would never ever have thought of that that, that would have been your, you know, either skin tone or the colour of clothes you wore or that kind of thing. And uh, I found it fascinating. Yeah, it is, isn't it, B-Bride? Did you watch it as well? I am still here, Shannon. Hello. Nice of you to come back and join us. Right, okay. Okay, Thomas, yeah. I think it was on the History Channel, the, the one I saw. Uh, it, it was Nazis in Colour or something like that it was called. It was, it was amazing. And it showed him, yeah, in the... You know the place he had in the, I think it might have been the Austrian Alps, where he was just looking out over mountains and stuff. And that bit were coloured. And there were some really vivid yellows and greens and that kind of thing. And, um, yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it, to be bright? You, you do guess the colour of dinosaurs and you, you think in back of your mind that that's a greeny-brown colour or whatever. Uh, and then science comes along and shows you that it's, I don't know, cerise pink with blue polka dots or something like that, you know, and you think, God, sheesh. 
obviously I won't be serious with the uh, the pink, just the polka dots. <laughs> Uh, not a problem. I'll see you around, Pickle, yeah. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Shannon. That's lovely of you to say. You're more than welcome, Thomas. Uh, it's it's quite a nice bunch I have on here. Um, you know, and we help each other out and, um, you know, we pass, we pass ideas around and things like that. So uh, you're more than welcome any time. And you'll be surprised how many people do remember your name. So thanks for joining us. And I'll certainly look into those pencils later. Right, Christine, that's fantastic. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, guys. Um, so I'm going to wrap up now. We've uh, we've been on two and a half hours. Uh, <laughs> and uh, no doubt there will be comments made in that amount of colouring in two and a half hours, but Sodom. Um, I'm going to wrap up by saying thank you very much, guys. Uh, I've really enjoyed... Uh, streaming on a Sunday um, and I think it's the way forward for me certainly uh, it's a lovely crowd that we get and um... oh thank you Jennifer I'm glad to see that you're still here and thank you Mona I'm just going to wrap up everybody by uh, obviously telling you that uh, I've been colouring today out of Fantasy Flower Garden which is uh, an art book by our very own uh, Christine Aldridge who's following me next guys so if you're still up for streaming and you want some entertainment, uh, just switch across to Christine Aldridge's channel uh, and then you'll get another two hours off her. And then um, after that, you'll get two hours of May. So, I mean, what more could you ask for on a Sunday? Uh, it's been lovely to speak to you all. Uh, I'll just in particular go through as quick as I can. Barbara, Cheshire, Connie, Melinda, uh, Shannon, Obviously, Christine, Susie, um, anyone else that I've missed, uh, please do uh, join me next Sunday. Uh, I won't be streaming Tuesday because I'm away, but as for next Sunday, I'll be back to two days a week. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, May has just put a, a link to Christine's channel in there. She's going to start any time now. And um, don't forget, guys, all the books that I've shown, I'll give you a quick, quick, very quick uh, overcap because I know people are waiting. Um, one second, Christine. It won't be two minutes. So you've got the Fantasy Flower Garden by Christine Aldridge. Uh, we showed the nice little town Easter, uh, which is going to be... Stop you. <laughs> uh, which is going to be a colour along with me and John. Uh, I showed you the Snow White colouring book from Charles Santor. I showed you my very favourite Full Metal by uh, Chris Panettiere. I showed you Coloriage Wild 3. And I showed you the Brush Markers uh, by Karen. So, all those um, items are in the description. Uh, and I'll see you all over at Christine's uh, stream. Thanks very much for joining, guys, and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheerio.